Hello MotoGP fans, welcome back to ZNGP today. Danny Pedrosa has provided his insightful analysis of the latest MotoGP race on DAZN, shedding light on various key moments, including Peko Banyaya's dominant performance, Marc Marquez's struggles, and other notable incidents from the Dutch MotoGP Grand Prix. Peko Banyaya continues to shine as he secures back-to-back -back victories at Assen, extending his lead in the championship race. In a recent interview, Banyaya addressed upcoming challenges at Saxenring and reflected on his career achievements. This morning, it was confirmed that Santi Hernandez will not be joining Marc Marquez at Ducati for the 2025 MotoGP season. Instead, Ducati has chosen Marco Rigamonti as Marquez's technical chief. Inia Bastianini's impressive comeback to secure third place at the Assen TT was marred by a controversial overtaking maneuver involving Marc Marquez. The Ducati rider discusses the incident and reflects on his performance after the race. Don't forget to click subscribe button and the bell icon for MotoGP news update. Danny Pedrosa praised Peko Banyaya for his impressive form, highlighting his recent victories at Assen, Mugello, and Barcelona. Pedrosa acknowledged Banyaya's exceptional performance, making it clear that beating him would be a significant challenge. He has been winning for several years now. He is in great form, not only winning at Assen, but also at Mugello and Barcelona. It will be a difficult day to beat Banyaya, but we have to get the most out of these days like this. Quote from Danny Pedrosa. Pedrosa also noted Jorge Martin's strong performance and his championship lead, underlining the competitiveness of the top riders, including Banyaya, Martin, and Bastianini. Reflecting on Marc Marquez's performance, Pedrosa pointed out some mistakes and a generally shy approach from the eight-time world champion. He discussed Marquez's penalty for tire pressure and his struggle to find grip during the race. It is inexplicable that it was a mistake on Acosta's part because he had no one behind him. We have seen Mark somewhat shy and making some inappropriate mistakes. The weekend was perhaps not ideal for him, but he knows the sack centering well and will aim for victories there," stated from Danny Pedrosa. Pedrosa commented on Marquez's difficulty with starts and his attempts to secure a podium despite the challenges. He also highlighted Marquez's difficulty in maintaining his usual aggressive riding style. Danny Pedrosa analyzed Inia Bastianini's recovery from a difficult start and his impressive performance towards the end of the race. He also described the on-track tussle between Bastianini and Marquez, which led to Marquez having to alter his trajectory. Inia has become even with Marquez in braking, but Marquez did not want to give in. Both have been releasing the brake a little to gain those centimeters of advantage, which caused Marquez to lengthen his career," Pedrosa told. Pedrosa also discussed Maverick Vinales's race and Pedro Acosta's crash, noting that Acosta's fall was particularly unusual given the circumstances. The crash by Acosta was inexplicable because he had no one around him. It's doubtful that he was pushing too hard on that last lap," Pedrosa concluded. Danny Pedrosa's analysis offers a detailed look into the key moments and performances of the MotoGP Grand Prix. With a focus on Banyaya's dominance, Marquez's challenges, and other significant incidents, Pedrosa's insights provide a comprehensive overview of the race. Stay tuned for more updates as the MotoGP season progresses. Peko Banyaya has dominated the Asin TT achieving his second consecutive double win. Despite his impressive performance, Banaya remains focused on future challenges, particularly the upcoming race at Saxenring. He acknowledges that the German circuit presents unique challenges, particularly with Jorge Martin and Marc Marquez expected to have an edge there. I think we are going to a circuit where Jorge and also Marc Marquez have something more. Last year I fought in the race with Jorge, and it was an incredible race, super fast. If we start well, like this weekend, we will also be able to fight for great results. Quote from Peko Banyaya. 
Banyaya's victory at Assen not only highlights his current form, but also allows him to match Casey Stoner's record of 23 wins with Ducati. Despite this significant milestone, Banyaya is focused on continuing his progress and is not dwelling too much on records. Stoner broke the record in three or four years. It took me two more years. These are numbers that you look at later, when you stop racing. For now, I want to continue to increase these numbers and not think about them too much. Banaya told by Modasan. Reflecting on his recent success, Banaya praised his team for their flawless work throughout the weekend. He emphasized the importance of their support in overcoming challenges such as tire choices under difficult conditions. My team has done a perfect job. It has not been easy today, with the temperature, to choose the tire. But we have done well concluded by Peko. Peko Banyaya's continued success and record-matching performance underline his exceptional skill and determination. As he prepares for the unique challenges of Saxenring, Banyaya's focus remains on maintaining his form and achieving further successes. Stay tuned for more updates as the MotoGP season progresses. Mark Marquez who is set to join Team Lenovo Ducati in 2025, will not be bringing his longtime technical chief Santi Hernandez with him. While Marquez had previously opted not to move his entire team to Grezzini Racing, choosing only to take Javi Ortiz with him, Ducati has decided to assemble a new support team for the reigning world champion. Ducati has selected Marco Rigamonti to be the technical chief for Marc Marquez. Rigamonti's appointment reflects Ducati's strategic move to integrate their own experienced personnel into the official team. Alongside Rigamonti, Javi Ortiz will move with Marquez to Ducati, and Mattia Serini, who manages electronics for Marquez at Grazzini, will also join the Italian factory. Despite speculation, Santi Hernandez will remain with Honda for the 2025 season. Hernandez's departure to Ducati had been rumored but is now confirmed as unlikely. Hernandez is expected to continue his role alongside Joan Mir at Honda, as Mir and Hernandez work to address current challenges with the team. Marquez's transition to Ducati brings new dynamics to the team, with Ducati opting to build a support structure tailored to their own specifications and the needs of their new star rider. The change in Marquez's technical crew is expected to impact the team's strategy and performance as they aim to build on their competitive edge. Joan Mir's situation at Honda remains in flux. While he has not yet confirmed his contract renewal, Mir has expressed a desire to stay with the team and resolve ongoing issues. His future, alongside Hernandez, will be a key focus as the new season approaches. Santi Hernandez will not be part of Marc Marquez's new technical team at Ducati in 2025. Instead, Ducati has opted for Marco Rigamonti and a new support crew to complement Marquez's transition. Meanwhile, Hernandez will continue his role at Honda, where he will work with Joan Mir to improve their performance in the upcoming season. Emilia Bastianini showcased his racing prowess by climbing from 10th position to finish 3rd at Assen. Despite the podium finish, Bastianini's race was highlighted by a contentious overtaking move on Marc Marquez, which led to a collision and subsequent loss of positions for Marquez. Bastianini provided insight into his race and the controversial maneuver. I had a lot of fun, but riding a motorcycle involves a lot of risks. Starting 10th made it tough, but I managed to fight through and secure the podium. The overtaking maneuver was challenging especially with the conditions and tire wear. Quote from Inia Bastianini. Bastianini explained his perspective on the overtaking incident with Marquez. He described a complex situation where both riders were adjusting their braking. Bastianini claimed that Marquez took more risks, which led to the collision. We released the brakes several times, all three of us. I was on the inside, and Mark was on the outside. He tried to close the line, but he took more risks than I did because I was already positioned on the inside, Bastianini told. Reflecting on his race, Bastianini acknowledged that a better qualifying position could have improved his chances of victory. 
he expressed satisfaction with his podium finish but also a desire for more. The Ducati rider looks forward to the upcoming races and aims to perform better. When you're on the podium, you're never sad, but winning is something else. I felt I could have done more with a better start. We need to improve our qualifying to fight for victories. Saxon Ring is a track where I haven't shined before, but I believe we can be competitive and aim for a strong result. Bastianini concluded. Inia Bastianini's podium finish at Assen highlighted his competitive edge and resilience. While his overtaking move on Marc Marquez drew some criticism, Bastianini remains focused on improving his performance in future races. Stay tuned for more updates as the MotoGP season progresses towards Saxon Ring. Thanks for watching ZNGP today, and this is your MotoGP news update. See you in the next video.